defunct it. This band derived its name from none other than a city. And it was good. They got their name from none other than Boston, Massachusetts, and they ran with it. One of the very few bands that have ever actually just started off straight out of a studio and exploded from that point. Uh, the only one that comes to mind immediately is uh, Jim Steinman with Bad Out of Hell with Meatloaf. One of those situations where you plot into the studio, you come up with these great songs, uh, put it all together, and you get magic. That's what this is. Boston. Boston. It's really difficult to remember all the members of this band because it, it, they're not... They're not household names, the actual names themselves. Yes, they're famous in their own environment, no question about that individually. Uh, but the band Boston is more famous as an entity, as a product, which is the whole point of having uh, a great band. And believe it or not, these guys are still a rockin'. Uh, Tom Schultz, Gary Pill, here we go. Michael Sweet, Tommy DiCarlo, how am I doing? Kimberly, Dan and Jeff Neal? Noticeably missing from that particular lineup I just framed was, of course, Brad Delp. Um, Brad was the uh, vocalist from this particular album. What makes it so special is not just the fact that, yes, it was all written, put together and, uh, and done in a studio, then, you know, wham, bam, here we are, we're Boston and we go live. It wasn't just that, it, it was the quality of the music. And what happened was, and, and I don't know if they realized it up front, but the song More Than A Feeling, they had not just a hit on their hands, but a real anthem. And a song that has stuck the test of time and still played today on not just adult contemporary, but rock stations around the world. More Than A Feeling, and I'll go out on a limb here, it could be uh, one of the finest produced rock songs um, that has survived this long. And it still sounds evergreen. It's, it's just one of those songs. Uh, some have claimed it as one of those perfect tunes, you know, very rare to hear. Um, but uh, when I say some people, I mean artists and, and, and very uh, prominent uh, musicians alike. It's a long way from 1969 and a band called Mother's Milk. Don't ask me how I know that. Regardless, Goudreau and uh, Schultz and, and, and the rest of the gang, when they finally uh, construed and, and manipulated and, and got it all together, uh, came out with the final thing. This is what you get. There's some confliction over what, you know, production can do, and I get it. Um, Brad Delp uh, and the production department of this album certainly uh, twiddled their way uh, through making the vocals of, say, More Than A Feeling sound extraordinarily good. We get it. But, I mean, bands would be lying if they didn't say, hey, listen, we enhanced a few things to make it sound a little bit better than what it usually does, you know. I mean, obviously, Boston couldn't perform more than a feeling to studio quality as it is. But gee, they came close. Now, all this is pretty good for a band that sells 17 million copies of Boston by Boston. 17 million copies. Now, in 1976, this is phenomenal. Considering that the, the punk era and all that kind of thing was starting to emerge, out of nowhere comes this band calling themselves after a city in Massachusetts, and they do well. Little known fact. Uh, the legendary uh, company, uh, Rockman Guitar Amplifiers, actually came from Tom Schultz's company. I mean, we're not talking about guys that, you know, came out of the pauper's grave. We're talking about guys that were established in the industry, loved the business, and realized that they could make a real go of it. And they did. Peace of mind, rock and roll band, four play, great tracks uh, you'll find on this album, uh, straight after More Than A Feeling. Smokin', Hitch A Ride is there, uh, again, rock solid something about you and let me take you home tonight i mean the album is just from go to woe a beautifully produced beautifully written compilation uh, a, a, an album that they put together and you can tell with these these debut albums that you know it could be the last one you know the first one could be the last one so they really put everything they had into it and it shows boston boston without a doubt one of the greatest rock albums, and certainly one of the world's best. Time to go. Our next episode promises to be one that you can clip your toenails by. Until next time.